you see, one thing that you brothers out there fail to realize, uh, those of you that desire relationships or marriages, or you're thinking about proposing to ladies out there, whatever, one thing that you all fail to realize is that when you all decide to pursue decent women, the stank A double S whores have got to go. Okay, let's just keep it real. The stank A double S whores have got to go. All of them have to go. Um, whether if it be uh, friendships, well, frenemies, um, stank A whores that are giving you their money, giving you their tails, um, booty calls, side chicks. Um, what do you call it? What's another term for them nasty skanks? Um, whatever the terms are, they have all got to go because women that are decent out here, they're not going to tolerate. I don't feel they're going to tolerate. I know I'm the type of female I wouldn't tolerate. Um, any, any man that I was involved with, um, dealing with stank A-double-S whores, they, they all better go. That's how I operate. And I'm sure that many of you sisters out there, you all are the same way. And I feel like when uh, a man does not have common sense to realize that when you choose gold, you forsake all the garbage. When he feels, when he can't come to the, the understanding that the garbage has to go, you know, that's what causes conflict within relationships and involvement. You know, because, um, one thing I know about a pack of whores, number one, they're liars. Number two, they're deceivers. Number three, they're manipulators. Number four, they're fabricators. Number five, they're, they're interferences. You know, and they'll always be somewhere trying to turn their funky tail up to your, to your man, my sisters. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, they, may they may try to uh, make other people think, oh, they're just friends. You know, but I feel like with those types of tramps, they consider themselves uh, friends with benefits. You know what I'm saying? What, what they call a benefit, but I don't see how funky stank fish or crouch is a benefit, you know, but maybe, you know, hey, other people may see it differently. But I just feel like for you fellas out there, if you have a decent woman or if you're pursuing decent ladies, why would you want fishy crouch? And how's that a benefit? And how's that even a friend with a benefit? How's that a friend at all? Because a friend would want you in a healthy, productive relationship. A friend wouldn't want to cause any confusion between you and your lady friend or you and your wife or whatever, what have you. So, um, like I said, you know, I'm really coming down on these whores and stuff because one thing a pack of whores will do, um, they're also the type, ladies, you know, they'll sit around your man or your fiancés or your guy friends or whatever. And they'll trash talk you all to the person with lies and deceptions all the while knowing they're nothing but fishy crouch. They're fishy crouch, they're whores, they're low lives, they're unintelligent, they don't have anything on, on us sisters. But they'll sit around and try to talk trash about us, but it's all jealousy and it's all envy. And so you must um, be mindful of the type of dudes, whether if it be your fiance, your husband, even your husband. Uh, your boyfriends, your beau, your dude friend, whatever. Be mindful of the type of males that sit around your enemies and listen to them trash talk you all. Even if they are defending you all, you have to ask yourself, what is it that they find so appealing about being around fecal matter that does not like you and wants to make you their subject matter? when they don't know you. So you have to have your standards set. And when you lay down the law to whoever you're involved with, and that's for you brothers or you sisters, whoever you guys are involved with, when you, you, when you lay down the law, and you're gonna have to lay down the law, especially if you're dealing with somebody that's ignorant and you're trying to bring them into intelligence, you're gonna have to let them know, look, let me tell you something. If you're gonna be involved with me, the fecal matter must go, all of it must go. And I think that the problem, I know that the problem in a lot of relationships is the lack of communication. People don't sit down and tell people 
<clears throat> they don't convey to people um, what they will and won't tolerate. They don't convey to people what their standards are, you know. And um, I understand that maybe many of you, if you're like me, you feel like, why should you have to educate somebody on something that should be basic common sense for them? But sometimes I guess people just don't know, you know. And when you're dealing with people that, um, if they have been entangled in dysfunction, meaning people who feel like they can play both sides of the fence. So meaning they feel as if they can affiliate themselves with you all and affiliate themselves with your adversaries. And, and, and that's the game people play in junior high school. Uh, that's a game people play in high school. But when you step into the adult world, a light bulb needs to come on if it's not on screw your bulb a little tighter. Because common sense should tell people that um, anybody that um, if, if you are friends, even if it's just a friendship, if you're friends with somebody, you don't go hang with their enemies. If you're involved with somebody, you don't go hang with their enemies. You don't sit with their enemies, you don't eat with their enemies, and you don't drink with their enemies. What is it about their enemies that is so appealing to you? Are you one? See, and it all boils down, my brothers and my sisters, to loyalty. What type of hearts that people have out there? Do they have loyal hearts? Do they have faithful hearts? Because anybody that's loyal to you, and faithful to you all. They're not going to tolerate somebody talking trash about you all. They will be instantly turned off. A person or, or a group of people like that would turn their stomachs. Do you understand? Because when people talk negatively about you all, it is, it is all jealousy. It is because they're not you all. They don't have your attributes, whether if it be physical, intellectual, uh, intellectually, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Uh, some of you may be very kind-hearted. They don't have that. They don't have that kind of compassionate heart that you all have. So they'll hate on you all. But did you all know, my brothers and my sisters, that other people's insecurities are not your problem? Other people's self-hatred is not your problem. Other people wanting to be you is not your problem. If God didn't make them you, and evidently he didn't, that is not your problem. That's their problem. That's something they will have to deal with not you all the only thing that you all need to continue to do is be the best versions of yourselves that's all any of us can do that are of a decent um, moral standard you understand doesn't mean we're perfect but we're not the trash that's lying lying on us and deceiving other people or trying to but anyway I don't want to go left field with that but I just want to talk about um relationships and involvements and just how important it is that you that you all that you guys just sit down and you lay down the law with people it doesn't mean you be demanding it doesn't mean you be disrespectful but it means that you tell your partner it's going to be this this and this are you going to suffer that that and that and it's very important that you tell your partners if you cheat on me you're out if you're that type of person or you could be the type of person you'll give somebody a, a second chance or a third chance or a fourth, fifth, whatever. Everybody's different. Uh, me personally, I believe once a cheater, always a cheater. Nobody has to agree with me. Um, that may be true in some cases. That may not be true in some cases. But um, I have yet to see a situation where a person who was a cheater was not a repeat offender. I, I feel like because they were so comfortable getting away with it or feeling that they got away with it the first time. And if somebody just has disloyalty in their heart, that's just who they are. You know who a person is based off of the character that's in their heart. If their heart does not have any character, they don't have any character because everything starts within the heart. Every matter, every issue as it pertains to life, it starts in the heart. Love, love starts in the heart. Love starts in the heart. Lust starts in the heart. Evil starts in the heart. Goodness starts with the heart. Faithfulness starts with the heart. Unfaithfulness is a matter of the heart. Everything pertains to the heart. Whether or not you get into heaven, is it is dependent upon your heart. The Bible says that the Lord pondereth the heart. So the heart is a very powerful tool. You understand that's why you know you can always judge a person 
based upon the actions that stem forth from that heart. And I feel like, um, and I'm not going to be before you all long, um, right now with this uh, conference, but I just feel like um, it, communication is very important. And it's very important that you all lay down the law. And uh, especially for you all that are thinking about getting married, getting involved in relationships, or you may already be in relationships, it's very important, lay down the law. I'm telling you, lay it down. Because if you don't, the other person will just have to do guesswork. Well, I think this is okay. Oh, I think they'll tolerate this. No, just let them know. No, I'm not gonna tolerate this, this and this, that, that and that, him, him and him, her, her and her. And let them know that if you feel like that you cannot cut these people off, I'm the one that's gonna be out. I'm the one that's gonna be gone. Let them know, my brothers. Let them know, my sisters. And that's what it is, straight like that. Because me personally, like I said, I know I'm a very loyal person, very loyal. So I don't understand people that are disloyal. You know how it is when people who um, commit crimes don't understand people who obey the law? It's like it's two different classes of people. I don't understand people who sit among your enemies, but they claim to be your friends. I don't understand people who sit among you, you guys' as enemies, and I know guys isn't a word, but um, um, I don't understand people that can sit among your enemies, but they claim to be on your team. I don't know about you all, but that straddling the fence thing, that's that's a zero for me. No, that's a no, not, I, I don't tolerate straddling the fence, because straddling the fence means somebody that's not 100% in with you, and they may not be 100% in with your enemies, but it's up to you to lay down the law and set the standard to let them know that if you are not 100% with me, then you are 100% with them. You know, I just don't play those types of games. And I don't know about you all, but I just, you know, I just want to have a little conversation with you all to just uh, give you some tips and uh, just to emphasize uh, just how important it is that you let people know where you're coming from and then that way you don't have to worry about future offenses and things of that nature you know and um, me personally um, if I'm loyal to somebody I'm not going to sit around and listen to other people trash talk them I'm going to put those people in their places because you can best believe that if they'll trash talk somebody that you care about they'll trash talk you when you're not around trash is not a friend to anybody Trash is not loyal to anybody. And when you're dealing with people that have jealousy in their hearts, nine times out of ten, the person that they're trash talking uh, to you about um, in your presence, that's not the only person they're trash talking because they're probably jealous of you all as well. You know, not you all, but you know what I'm trying to say, the person that they're talking to. I don't know if I explained that right, but I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but um, meaning basically, this, just to put it, uh, round it up in a nutshell, um, trash ain't no friend to nobody. Whores, whether male or female, they're not loyal to anybody. For those of you out there, you, you think people are your friends and they're whores? A whore don't have no loyalty. They don't have any loyalty to whoever their sex partners are. And they don't have any loyalty to whoever they call their, their friends either. Because it's a whore. It's a whore. That means it will sell itself to the highest bidder. That means it will turn its back on you for a dollar bill, whether if you be a friend or a sex partner. A whore is a whore is a whore. And they will always be jealous and envious of people that are not. And they will uh, also, my brothers and my sisters, they will try to speak their whoredom on other people because they don't want to be in their pit alone. They don't want to be viewed as skanks and skeezers alone. They want everybody else to be viewed as that as well. And, um, you know, if you all are dealing with people uh, who you consider your friends or your lovers or your significant others, if they are sitting among whores, they are sitting among skanks, they are sitting among filth. So what you all need to ask yourselves is, what is it about that type of low-class, low-grade trash that is so appealing to people that either want to be in your lives or in your lives 
people that you may be in relationships with, situationships, marriages, proposals, involvements, engagements. What is it about that type of garbage that is so appealing to those people if they desire to be acquainted with you all and be involved with you all but be involved with that trash as well? So now you have to test somebody's character and the loyalty that is in their heart. Who are they loyal towards? Because I'm here to tell you, I'm just going to put it out there like that. Anybody that keeps company with your enemy is an enemy of yours as well. Okay? And so with that said, God bless you all until next time. Make sure that when you're dealing with people, whether if it be friendships, relationships, situationships, you lay down the law and you stand by your law and that your laws do not change. There, You know, I, I feel like it should be this way. You're either hot or you're cold. Because it's like what Father, what Father Jesus said. If you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. And with that said, God bless you all until next time.